some flowers make drinking even more difficult for their couriers. This small iris grows in South Africa. Each flower has a hugely elongated tubular base. The tiny entrance to it is indicated with exemplary clarity and absolute accuracy by these white arrows on the petals. And here is the only tongue that can reach that nectar. It belongs to a hoverfly. It's not so much a tongue as a fine tube, but in proportion to body length, it's one of the longest feeding implements in the animal kingdom. The clear markings are particularly important because the tongue is so long that even in the lightest wind, the end blows about. An extra thrust is needed to get the last drop. The iris only flowers for a few weeks. So what does the hoverfly collect with its phenomenal tongue at other times? Well, after this iris is over, this different blue flower opens. It's produced by another species of iris. And in fact, there's a succession of plants that bloom on the felt during the next few months so that the hoverfly is kept fed throughout its short adult life. The hoverfly collects pollen on the front of its broad head and on the back of its neck. Butterflies, on the other hand, tend to accumulate it around the base of the tongue. They don't hold their tongue needle straight like the hoverfly. They curve it and sometimes, most remarkably, they can put a sharp bend in it. This butterfly has got pollen not only on its tongue, but all over its legs as well. 